Okay guys, we're in our regular spot today. The rifting and I came across this really pretty um, coach hobo bag and it's the exact match to the wallet that I just thrifted. So I might go ahead and pick this up. It's a nice size, we'll haul it in the car. Um, also in my basket, I have this amazing fringe, Rebecca Minka in black pebble. Adorable little moto bag. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one or not. Um, it's a Lena, Lena Pele Pell, and it is all leather, so it's a really super nice tote, gorgeous leather, really great condition. It's a, it's, it's a possibility. I'm not 100% yet, but the leather on it's amazing. And then I can't tell the brand on this bag because the darn tag is attached to where the zipper is, so I might ask him if I can take the tag off. But it's very reminiscent to the Coach. It's the same coach leather. It's got these really nice front pockets on it. So um, I'll check out the name brand. Even if not, I still might get it because it's a gorgeous leather bag. So let's go ahead and see what else we got here. I found this coach, but you guys, I know I shouldn't buy things if I don't care for them, but I'm not a fan of yellow. This kind of yellow. I love like golden yellows, but not this. So I'm not gonna pick this one up. What's this? It just fell on the floor. This is a relic. I don't buy relic. Just because the quality's not real well, not real good, and it's plastic. It falls apart really easily. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. A little saddle handbag. Looks like it was maybe made in Mexico. That's different. You could literally only fit like a debit card and a lip gloss in here. Some coin, that's it. Probably made for a little girl actually, it's not a crossbody. Pretty. I bet you it's Forever 21, just by looking at the tag on the inside. Yep, it is. Here's a coach and a Betsy down here. Mm, too much peeling on the handles. It's cute with a little corset type X's going down the sides. And then here's this coach. Ooh, that's a mess. 25 bucks for that. And then there's this coach down here. This is actually a poppy. Pretty worn though. This is a Betsy Johnson. I've sold this one in the past. I'm not gonna get it though. I can't remember if it was a hard sell or not, but I'm not sure if anybody would really be into that one. Pretty vintage tapestry bag if your initials are this. But what's the chances of that? So if those initials were not on there, I would get it. But I don't buy initial bags. Because nine chances out of 10, you're not gonna have the exact same <laughs> initials, right? Another relic. There's a vintage guest. 
kind of like a camera style bag. It's kind of cute. Crossbody. Looks like a Michael Kors, and it is. That's cute. Really pretty type of. Um, there's a little ink mark right here. Not a big deal. Interior looks good. It's cute. Maybe we'll get that one. It's like a taupe colored canvas type. The little rope handles. Super cute. Look at that one. Maybe we'll get that. Little Steve Madden is cute. Feels kind of cheap. It's pretty though. It's definitely vintage. This would be from the 70s, early, late middle middle 70s, I'd say. I can tell by the hardware on it. Maybe I don't know. Not sure on that one. Simply because you cannot make it a crossbody, just a longer shoulder bag. Inside looks really good. No, not really any scratching. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I 
There's that fake Fendi. on this. I'm gonna pass on this one. Peter Pan. Wallet cell phone case fits the iPhone 6 and 6s. Huh. Oh, it's lounge fly too. It's cute. That's an old phone though. I'm sure some of you guys might have it, but not enough for me to buy it at that price. Alright, let's go down here to the larger bags like the backpacks, totes. Things like that. See, we have lots of resellers in here looking right now. It's a lot different than it was a couple of years ago. Uh, it's it's tripled, quadrupled in resellers now. Her basket was full. I took a quick peek, but nothing that uh, I would have picked up. It's really cute. It's a velour Betsy Johnson mini backpack purse. Um, what's going on here? Oh, okay. So this has broken off from that. Alright guys, so let me show you, I'm not going to get this, or should I, oh, the struggle's real man, um, no, I'm not going to get this one, so we're going to put that one back, and I'm for sure going to get this one, because if you guys don't want it, I definitely do, <laughs> and especially that it still has the little hang charm on it, oops, a little charm on it, so I'm for sure gonna get this in my pores. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. Uh, I still don't know about that. We'll see everything I get out when I do the haul in the car, okay, guys? See you in the car. Okay, guys, here we go. Got some stuff you saw in there, got some stuff you didn't see in there, so that I saw on the way out, and that does happen occasionally. You got to love this. Let's do this later. Look at this fossil. Is this fossil not amazing? So pretty. It's like a feels like a lamb skin or something. It's really, really soft black leather contrast, um, like ivory stitching, braiding on details on the handles, large tote. Really, really pretty. It says fossil right here. I love the inside, it's so cute. Like a yellow floral. Super clean, excellent condition. Zip top closure with a little leather braided, um, round little round braided do diggy, do doggy thing, do dingy balls. You know, there you go. So there's the fossil. This has got a front pocket on it. This was a cool find because I do find Luke's Deville or Lux Deville, however you want to say it, uh, bags sometimes. They're very expensive and I was really excited to find a faux fur cheetah wallet by Lux Deville. 
and uh, they are very pricey as well if you look them up. It's got two little heart ID holders. So put your pictures there, put your ID there, card slots, more card slots, zipper compartment for your coin, lots and lots of pockets in here. Really cute. Do you love it? I do. I love it. I love it a lot. There's the little silver Lux Deville plaque on it, plain on the back, but it's a faux fur cheetah. Okay, I showed you guys this. Adorable Rebecca Minkoff. This is my style right here. I love this. Rebecca Minkoff moto bag with the fringe. I have found these before. This is my first time finding one with fringe. There's the Rebecca Minkoff plaque. Um, it's got whip stitching all on the handles. Little fringe detail everywhere. Wear black pebbled leather. The inside, it looks great. There's the zipper pocket. Little Rebecca Minkoff logo, leather logo along with a little card pocket. And two open pockets on this side. And then the front pocket is usable and it has a adjustable crossbody strap. So cute. Love it. That's Rebecca Minkoff. All right, now this little cutie here, the Michael Kors. I really like this one. I've never had one like this one before. Get the little charm set up for you. Okay, so the Michael Kors hang tag, and this here is a tan leather, so there is some leather on it and it's a canvas material. It says Michael Kors right here, their feet on the bottom. And it's like a rope style uh, shoulder straps. The back is plain, a taupe, definitely a taupe, a light taupe color. The inside has one, two, three, four, five, six pockets on this wall and a zipper pocket lined with leather or trimmed with leather on this side and a key lanyard. Magnetic snap closure. And there you have this little adorable Michael Kors. Now this one I picked up, I went ahead and got it. Um, I was able to take the price off and see if there was a name, but there was no name on this one. But if you guys are familiar with Vintage Coach, it's the same leather. So it's a beautiful cognac leather, very smooth leather, two nice large front pockets to put your keys and your phone, plain on the back, gorgeous condition, zip top closure with brass hardware. It just reminds me so much of Coach, it's ridiculous. Two inner wall and one zip pocket, and it is trimmed with leather on those pockets right there. A little itty bitty wear on the, on the corners. You guys can see that. That's the only thing, that's the only wear that's on this bag. The straps adjustable. So wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. Zip top closure. Perfect, perfect bag to take anywhere. Okay, so there's no name on that one. It's just gonna be tan leather crossbody. I bought a really cute little flimsy little dress. It's just cute. It's one of those wraparounds, it ties. I'm not even gonna try to show it because it's a pain in the booty. Um, I went ahead and I got this coach and I'm going to sell the wallet with it as a set, a hobo bag. So it's black jacquard fabric with black patent leather, really cute little pleats on the front, silver hardware, zip top closure, the inside is gray.
pockets over here. This too is another adorable bag that can be worn any and everywhere. And this is a medium large size hobo bag. Like all the silver chain detail on it, so cute. Okay, so this coach, and if you guys remember the wallet, exactly exact match. Okay, and then I got this Kate Spade. Another something I love, absolutely love this denim. I have not seen this Kate Spade before, and it's so cute. It's a denim tote with white leather trim. Tassel pull on the zipper. Gold tone hardware. Car pass. <laughs> I'll throw that away when I clean her out. Leather's in great shape. Kate Spade plaque. Zip top closure. And uh, the inside just needs to be wiped down. There's two wall pockets and a zipper compartment. Really roomy. I love this denim bag. So that's my Kate Spade. you the handles are in really good shape everything is actually I love the little tassel it's so cute and lastly is another Michael Kors and this one is a cobalt blue Safiano leather accordion wallet and the hardware on this is silver inside looks great zipper for your coin, credit card slots, slip pockets, all the goodness of Michael Kors. Okay, you guys, so that's today's haul. Everything that's for sale will be listed below this video in the description box. Just know that all my sales are final. Once you make your purchase, it is yours to keep, so please ask all questions beforehand. I ship only within the US and accept PayPal only, and everything is in the description box below this video. All right, you guys, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you on tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.